Hey, so I wanted to do a video on my HRV. Um, I've redesigned, not sure if you can see the exhaust pipe, which is now going through the back wall. It's kind of dark, I apologize. I don't turn on the light, it hurts my eyes. So I punched a hole in the back of my, of my uh, headboard. And so I got the pipe coming through and then I wrapped it in silver tape so I can bend it and it stays in that position, which is nice because I can kind of, it's a um, hose for a vacuum cleaner. I bought it new, but it's a hose for a vacuum cleaner. So otherwise it would want to stay in like a curled position and the metal tape just keeps it, gives it some rigidity. So I want to take a minute and just talk about the overall efficiency of the system. can definitely tell it is doing its job. It's doing its job actually quite well. It's providing a steady stream of air. And to kind of give you an idea of the volume, it would be like if you are three inches away from it, it feels like how it feels underneath the high pressure vent on a um, airplane. Except in that you are, you know, two or three feet away from the vent. And in this situation, you have to be quite close to feel it. Uh, but that's okay. I'm, I'm going to fix that with larger fans. But it's actually okay. So I'm going to... Like, this is basically what it's coming down to. I have to install a dimmer switch. Because... It really depends on the Delta T. So the colder it gets outside, the more that cold air might bother me. Now I, I have the stuff to do a reheat and I might do a reheat, but the control logistics, and, and I'm gonna go into it a little bit, it gets into the overall efficiency of the system and taking a bigger step back and looking at the efficiency of the entire system, meaning my room, my house, etc. So right now, things I can do to improve the efficiency of the system would be to insulate the box completely so it doesn't absorb any extra heat from the room. Insulate the pipe going exhaust especially and potentially in insulating the inlet pipe as well um, I also have to definitely insulate the piece inside the plenums which inside the box um, I'm gonna upsize those pipes too but exhausting to this connecting through the coiled wire heat exchanger is um the exhaust pipe and that exhaust pipe is the warmest pipe being exposed to the coldest air which is recooling it which i don't want to do so i need to insulate that section um and then secondly if I wanted to add a reheat, I'd have to compartmentalize that section completely and do two, um, like a, a partition it. So I would have oh, the inlet going in the bottom with a small ducted section, and then the exhaust with a small de ducted section, a thermostat, and a small resistance heater and in there i could it would this is where it gets a little technical for like the size but to put a little it's possible i have the stuff but i'd have to take apart like a little heater and then mounting the controls externally is that worth it i'm essentially using electric heat at that point so i don't want to do that and I will be the the problem isn't reheating 
reheating I can do and I'm, I'm thinking of a different way I can do it but if you reheat that close to your cold inlet with only a thin metal or even insulated metal partition you are preheating you're not reheating so um, I don't want to preheat the electric because I'm recapturing the heat I made from a heat pump that I'm using renewable energy to power. So taking green heat made efficiently and diluting it down with, well, green heat made inefficiently is is not efficient. <laughs> So what can I do to improve the system? I'm increasing the sizes of both the fans. I'm installing a dimmer switch to control both the fans. And this is the kicker. I might be taking a heat wire, like what you would wrap around a pipe to keep it from freezing in the winter. Um, a heat strip, basically. Um, and just snaking it down my exhaust pipe so that if that air temperature ever gets freezing cold or close to it, that little pipe heater kicks on. And it's the only problem with that is I have to have like an extension cord and a heater but those those wires don't get hot enough to damage plastic you know they only get up to like 75 80 degrees but they're 6 8 24 however long you want them so i could get like a 14 inch uh heater strip insert it down the pipe and then if it, if it gets cold, there are control problems with that plan because the thermistor on those, I'm not sure where they're located and I'm not sure if they're adjustable. But the objective is to heat the air, would be to reheat the air far away from the cold inlet because the cold inlet is my heat sink for my exhaust air. So I don't want to make it a heat sink for my reheat. And this is a design problem that I was lazy in the beginning. I had a plan and I had I was going to have the passages like the um the plate heat exchanger inserted the long way. And I have a passage on each side and have it essentially blowing through and I decided to do it the stubby way because it basically almost fit perfectly and pack it around the side that and, and I part made the whole thing partitioned using the heat exchanger as the partition and I thought that was just a faster way to get to where I wanted to go but um, it's left me constrained with the space for integrating a reheater into this thing without thermally contaminating my my thermal sink so I need to basically move my reheater further down the distribution line away from my cold inlet I need to insulate my exhaust that's passing through my cold inlet so that doesn't reabsorb any outdoor air temperature. I need to insulate the cabinet itself and I need to come up with a reheat solution if I'm going to go that route. And the other option is to forget the reheat and to change the distribution to, to be a linear diffuser and if I have a linear diffuser, the uh, velocity of the air might not 
make its temperature so annoying and between the dimmer switch and uh, the diffusion of the air as opposed to just a one inch diameter hole that's just blasting air in one direction to have it diffused out in a, a controlled manner a li like I said, a linear diffuser to literally make uh, a halo that diffuses the air over my pillow so that it's not blasting me with cold air and it's not that's actually something that I, I'm gonna do I talk myself into it because I, I just kind of imagined a way I could do it and it's it is a halo you're gonna have to build a halo diffuser um, to reduce the velocity and that and simultaneously not blast the air off in undesirable directions basically I want to direct the air here and down um, you know so I, I'm gonna probably spend if it's a rain day I'm probably gonna try to come up with some way to build that because the rest of my parts aren't showing up till tomorrow so let me see what I can do.